I'm Sam Watson. I'm here riding on the Irish eventing team at the World Equestrian Games here in Tryon. I'm also the co-founder of Equi Ratings, the data analysis company who's working with our partners, SAP, this week to bring all the data-driven insights to the fans and to the public so that they can really enjoy this year's World Equestrian Games. I think one of the key insights to look for this year is who our individual gold medalists can be. Looking at the last three world champions, we've had Michael Young, we've had Sandra Ofarth and we've had Zara Tyndall and they've all won a medal before winning the World Equestrian Games. In this field, we just have Sarah Elgertz and Osholtz with Vega and Ingrid Klimke with SAP Hale-Bob OLD. And will it be one of these two? Is it a, a two-person battle to win that gold medal or can we see a new star born this week? So Ingrid, let's talk about some of your personal objectives this week. What are you hoping for at Tryon this week? For sure, I will try to show that um, Bobby is in top form. Your numbers and I think what the, the fans really looking forward to see from, from Bobby is you always have a, a strong first phase as well. Your, your record at four star level is still 24.3 but we've seen you go a lot lower than that before. So we're hoping that you can really, on our expected scores, you're trending more towards a 22, is what is that's what we're hoping for you this week. Do you think about those numbers yourself? And, and do you have a number that you're hoping to, to get from the judges this week? The good thing is that the test is quite difficult with four time changes, with four flying changes and um, half pass and canter trot and especially the trot part with always changing rain and bending and flexion. I think it's really a test where you have to be very precise, very accurate and uh, still be in a very positive forward fluent go. You have to show everything with the rain bag and the stretching. So this test, um, I like to ride dressage, so I like to have the challenge and um, I rode it a few times so he, he knows the test now as well. I really also would like to go a little bit above 20. And for sure he's a very, very fast horse as well and we saw your performance at Stregom last year becoming the European champion. You finished on that dressage score and that's something that you've done with uh, SAP Hale-Bob a lot and something that you're hoping for again and as you say that the cross country here is still a bit unknown. We don't know what the conditions will be like but I think that's why you are a strong favourite for the competition this week is that you're very strong in the first phase but also very likely to finish very close to that dressage score as well. That's really one of his best points because he has lots of thoroughbred in him and he is really um, very easy galloping without, um, he has the strength and the stamina so also at the jumps he's not losing very much time because he's pretty quick can um, really go to the fence and are very fast away so he likes to go fast, me too, and <laughs> that's uh, the most fun game. <laughs> So I hope um, I did a lot of hill work because knowing that there's a hill coming and um, he was good in his breathing. So normally you should be ready to also cope with the hill and a little bit um, things which we yet don't know. Perfect. Thank you and good luck this week. <laughs>